I have things to study. What if... The artifacts I've discovered in Nishuan... You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Mind the displays. Some of them are quite fragile. Oh, really? Hmm. This looks like someone from Starbin's little group. A brave scholar, but not very wise. If you find Starbin, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. I doubt you'll find him alive, though. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Give an old man. a few guards to him some clothes. Good arms, considering. safe, I hope. What a way. There must be a dozen men up here. Yeah. Selmo called in his entire expedition team. Said he needed every man he could get to protect his research. This is Markarth, Traveller. Safest city in the beach.
What a day.
Take care if you're venturing too far from town. Or to believe I ever complained about Rift and being cold. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about... the Nightingales? Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's... what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college, and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the Guild. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. So did Delvin send you again, or are you here on your own this time? The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there.
presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please. Lower your weapons so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out that what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from a vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Nag and Mercer open up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. You didn't need to pick the lock. What's she on it, ma'am? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tight and in a drum. Now use yours. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. The gold. The jewels. It's all gone. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I. I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? 
But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Vold to guard the place. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. I can't believe he emptied the vault. I can't believe he emptied the vault. Right from under our noses. What happened?
you're looking to settle in Riften, there's a house for sale on Honeysuckle. See the steward in the key.